Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another exciting episode of our Gibson EBO Resto Mod project. Um, if you'll remember in the last episode, we pulled the neck and um, that made a lot of people really happy. <laughs> and uh, in this episode, I've got the body right here and I've already done the work. I'm going to show you what we did and then I'm going to show you some video of how we did it. Um, I filled in the um, P-Base kitchen table route that was that was done and we filled in all the holes where the old bridge bridges used to be let's let me just show you what we got here so what I decided to do was put a giant patch in that way I didn't have to have two of these I would extend it all the way out to the end and then I'll just uh, I'll just round this over now this base was not flat so I had to send it through on the top and send it through on the back to get it flat. Now you'll remember that we are planning on putting a thin veneer on the top and also the back of this guy to bring it back to its um, original uh, thickness, which is one and a quarter. Right now it's about one and an eighth. So we're going to put a sixteenth back on the top and a sixteenth on the back, and that's going to cover up all of these, all the uh, glue lines here that have a tendency to project through the finish, no matter what finish we use. And um, so that's going to be super cool. So let me roll in some video of um, how I did this so you can check it out. Okay, 
guys, so that's uh, that's where we are. The EBO base mod resto mod project is coming along nicely. Um, and uh, in the, I, I don't know what we're gonna do in the next episode. Probably pull frets and uh, clean up the fretboard, or maybe we will um, put our veneers on the uh, the top and back and bring us back to factory thickness because we've got uh, some new tools coming from um, some of our buddies back east. Some new vacuum pressing stuff, and so we want to want to give that a try. Uh, let's see if you guys have any questions about what we did in this video. Please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button? If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you cool stuff like this. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I